I feel like our kitchen is fairly convenient to use, except when it comes to the things stored in our base cabinets. I've got to practically get down on my knees even to peer inside. And most of the time, if I want something in the back, it means first unloading what's up front. I was sure there must be a solution to this. So I went online looking for one and came across a product called Quick Tray. The manufacturer claims it's easy to install, can be fitted to just about any opening, and offers adjustable shelf spacing. I've decided to give it a try. Step one for me is removing the doors and the narrow half shelf that's nailed into the cabinet. Then I take out the drawers, so I'll have better light and visibility while I'm working. This base cabinet was set up with five rather narrow individual doors, and I was going to put five sets of pull-out shelves in here. But then I got to thinking that each one of those shelves is going to be so narrow that I really couldn't put larger objects on it. So what I've decided to do is to remove this vertical face frame here and this one. That'll leave me with wide pull-out shelves here and here and just one set of narrow shelves right here in the middle. Because of the granite countertop, I decided I'd better do some reinforcing if I'm going to remove those vertical supports. I first apply glue to a strip of oak, then slip the piece of wood up behind the rail that forms the top of the cabinet opening. A few clamps hold it in place, while I secure it from the inside with screws. With the reinforcing strip in place, I can now cut away the vertical face frame sections using a Japanese handsaw. I want to try and save these, since I may be able to reuse them later on. This system uses four support posts, or pilasters, for each pair of sliding shelves. I attach the first one to the side of the cabinet at the front. On the left side, because there's no cabinet wall, I'm installing this partition. Once it's in place, I attach the left front support post to it. I'll also need a partition in the rear of the cabinet to make up for the non-existent wall. Next, I snap two drawer glides into the slots on the rear support post. Set the whole assembly in place and snap the opposite ends of the glides into the corresponding slots on the front support post. This method makes sure that everything is in alignment, so I can go ahead and screw in the rear supports. Then I repeat the process for the left side of the cabinet. Well, that finishes the work on the base cabinets. Now I'm going to go on out to the shop and start building the slide-out shelves. Now, this is the shelf kit that comes with the system. It consists of a front, a back, two sides, a bottom, and some glides. Now, the interesting thing about this kit is that it can be sized to fit just about any opening. Let me show you how it works. Thank you.
My first step is to cut the front and back of the shelf to length, based on the size of the cabinet opening. Also trim the bottom shelf to the same dimension. The front and back have dovetail slots cut along their entire length. The sides have matching dovetails cut into the ends. Once the front and back have been cut to the desired length, the sides simply slip into the grooves. To assemble the sliding shelf, I brush glue on the dovetails push the parts together then tap them into position. With the frame complete, I apply glue to the edges set the bottom in place and secure it with screws. The final step is to attach the metal glides. The rolling shelves install in seconds. Later, they can be easily repositioned to accommodate whatever I wish to store on them. This slip-resistant shelf liner will keep any contents from sliding around when the shelves are opened and closed. The last thing I have to do is remount the doors. I attached the frame section I removed earlier to the back side so that when closed, the cabinet doors will look the same as before. You know, I've made a lot of improvements in this kitchen, but this is one of my favorites. Remember this shelf? If you can even see it, it was about 12 inches wide and tucked way up in the back of the base cabinet. I've doubled its size and everything slides out now to meet me. Same with this bottom shelf. No more getting down on my hands and knees and looking back up there. I can stand on my feet and everything presents itself to me. Now, if I want to change the shelf position, all I have to do is unhook the drawer glide, reposition it, and snap it back in place. And over here, for example, what I've done is put this shelf way down in the bottom to accommodate the tall bottles and then up here just a shallow shelf for some accessories. You know what I've learned from all this? That sometimes getting more storage space in my kitchen is not a matter of adding more cabinets but getting more use out of the ones I already have.